in what ways might direct financial compensation serve as a means of acknowledging and also rectifying historical injustices, particularly when we're talking about slavery? Mm -hmm. like, do you think it will actually do anything? In and terms of acknowledging. Oh, like term, okay. So we're in just terms of acknowledging. It. So yeah, that's that's a better way to think of it is like if reparations are given, is that the ultimate acknowledgement that something has happened? And if not, what would be acknowledgement that slavery took place, we were wronged, and that you know something needs to be done about it? Hmm. That's a tough question, man. Because I really don't know, outside of money, what would people want, right? So is it an acknowledgement? Yeah. I mean, I think to I think to a certain extent it is. Um, is it going to do anything for Black people? I really don't know, to be honest. Hmm. Just specifically to this, the acknowledgement part. We'll get to the, you know, is it going to help Black people in today's time? you know, present time. Um back then, yeah, I, I think it would have I think it would have helped. I think it would have been um how kind so of, uh, <clears throat> well as you were saying earlier because I caught a little bit of the preview about the promise of 40 mules and what else? 40, 40, 40 mules and what else? 40 acres and a mule. 40 acres and a mule. I got it confused. Mm -hmm. Um I think it would allow black people to continue being self sufficient. Because essentially that's what they were doing during slavery, if you think about it. Because they had to work for everything that they had. They had to learn different things, create different things. So essentially it would just been giving them a better start to continue what they've been doing before, just without having to deal with the, the masters and all that stuff. Right. Okay, so, so I guess when I think of this question... Mm -hmm. about acknowledgement would would direct <laughs> financial compensation be acknowledgement what i think about is this is like is it if you're in a relationship with somebody mm -hmm. and let's say that they they always have an attitude or they're always disrespectful or something like that what is it that they would need to do in order to acknowledge that you're seen, you're heard, and that this won't happen again and the disrespect will not continue right. in the future, yeah. right? That's what I think about when I think of acknowledging that slavery even happened because we all, we all understand that it happened, but a lot of the conversation that I hear around it is like, get over it. Get over it, it happened, get over it, it's done with. Y'all weren't even slaves, shut up and you know, deal with it pretty much. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there is no acknowledgement without action. And not the action that you want, but sometimes it's asking the other person like, hey, what would it take? It, in the example of the relationship, if someone's being disrespectful to you and they always have an attitude or they're always, you know, negative, and you're like, okay, I need to know, I need for you to acknowledge that this is a problem. And I need you to acknowledge that something needs to change. If they can't do that, and it's like, well, get over it. I, it is what it is. Uh, you got some good head when we were in the relationship, so shut up. <laughs> you know? You know. Start naming all these things, and they can't acknowledge what happened. Is that something that you feel secure in, uh, with moving forward? That, that's kind of what I think of as, uh, when I think of acknowledgement is, can we really move forward with the acknowledgement that's been given? I mean, in the terms of giving the financial compensation, like you're saying, yes. I think we can move forward and just kind of like, okay, once we get the conversation, that's it. No more conversation about this. You know, obviously right. keep it keep it within the communities. Mm -hmm. But after that, you know, we're not going to continue to play this victim game of, well, 400 years, 400 years. 